Emily, here's a look at the forms in my maintenance programming manual for historic buildings. This is a chart of uh, four different documents that are used in the program. And it starts with building evaluation checklist. This is a, an 11 page checklist laid out to go through all of the principal parts and systems of a building. Here you can see weather envelope, walls, cornice, siding, doors. Here's a, a door condition back screen door. You can see you can check it, check off excellent, good, fair, or poor, and then refer to an on-site inspection notes form that provides a space for uh, detailing conditions. Here's that uh, screen door project. Uh, description of the door itself, back porch, wood frame, three screen panels, gingerbread, and so on. And then listing of conditions, room for sketches. And that can be referred to in the project sheets. So here's a project for that screen door that details what needs to be done remove screening, new screen, paint touch up, hang and adjust the door. And that project sheet has a number. Here it's number three, referred to over in the maintenance plan, which here is laid out in a spreadsheet that lists all of the projects for that structure. So let's see, here's that uh, screen door project, back porch, repair and rehang, referencing the sheet number three. So when you get ready to do the project, you can just whip out the project sheet. And that screen door project is listed here with a cost for a certain year. So that totals for all the projects that need to be done in that year can be totaled. This is just a simple spreadsheet. Um, but it can be laid out in a form or in a database program if that's how you like to work. So that's the whole system of documents in the maintenance programming manual for historic buildings. It includes some of the theory and maintenance programming and so on, managing maintenance. You can find that in the Practical Restoration Reports Compendium book. This is what Tom McDowell mentioned in the Facebook discussion. So I hope this helps. Give me a call if you have any questions about maintenance programming. I'm always happy to talk.